Hello, it's Gab Buddy. The new series starts from today and will continue non-stop. In this program, we will target your upper butt, lower back and obliques. The lower back curves, the curve that shapes the S-line between your upper butt and lower back. It has a lot to do with your spinal cord, your pelvic and your lumbar spine. A strong spinal cord takes control of every of your daily activities and movement. Just so you know how important it is to have a strong posture. You will stand taller and sexier, so beauty is a plus. If this is the first time you watch this video, I just want to let you know that I have 10 free workout programs for you to get fit at home during this coronavirus period. Just stay indoor, be safe, and be healthy. Remember to follow Unfit Collection for more quick and intense app and fat burn workout at home. Update your fitness progress on our community to motivate and inspire everyone to get fit with you. All right, let's get your S line body. Let's begin with standing fold. Stand with your back straight and slowly lower your spine till it's parallel with the floor. Our main focus is the lumbar spine. Try to move your back up and down smoothly without moving your hips. Your feet are firmly on the ground. That's correct. Keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. You came your friends, we were minded. We just came to dance and go all night long. The look in your eyes, you can't hide it. Oh baby, I know I turn you on You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Oh baby, I know I turn you on You can bring your friends, we won't mind it We just came to dance and go all night long The look in your eyes, you can't hide it Oh baby, I know I turn you on Moving next is two movements. Start with high plank first. Maintain your back straight and flat. Hold your core tight. to low plank position keep your back straight we are training the stability for your spine keep thinking about its benefits The next three moves are W, I and T. Lie flat on your belly. Keep your lower body rest. Only use your upper body. The lumbar region will take control of your move. Feel that area. Feel it's working. Not your ab, but lumbar area. We are putting more strength and resistance training for your spine. Keep your head off the ground the entire duration.
Alternative arm leg raises. I don't want you to go for speed, but focus and squeeze your back in each move. If your foot or your arm is shaking, that means your back is weak. So what you can do is reduce your speed. Keep your hands, your knee and toes firmly on the ground. I can't deal with this no, I can't. No, I can't. Cause I'm sick. Cause I'm still in love plank back rotations. We are going to twist the lumbar spine, giving it more flexibility skill. Go low with your arm to the ground. a combination movement. Go low to the crowd, push your body up and raise your leg. This combination movement will strengthen your back, both upper and lower parts. The challenge here is try to maintain your back straight and let the lumbar spine work. Amazing guys, keep that going. Cause I got to know If you feel the things I do I might need some help If you let me go Cause I'm flying through the sky And I'm standing a little high on you is inch warm to plank extension another combination movement we are going to do a lot of combination movement in this program try to extend your arm as straight as you can keep your back straight we are working on your core and your back at the same time the walk in is a bit challenge you can do it guys keep your feet wider than shoulders for more stability oh.
almost done everyone. Another combination movement. Cobra leg curve. Squeeze your lumbar area when you curve your legs. Hold for a second or two before you go back to starting position. Back flat, arms and up firmly on the ground. Keep squeezing the lumbar region. This is our main focus in this program. exercise today swimmers keep your move in tempo speed only when you feel your lumbar area is doing its job then you can move faster otherwise it won't be effective raise your legs and your arms as high as you can the higher you can raise the more effective the exercise is thank you so much for joining me today everyone part two and three will be live soon stay indoor safe and protect yourself and I will see you in the next routine. Bye.